Residents of Komenda in the central region are expressing frustrations with government over the delay in reviving the sugar factory there. Although the factory has encountered several challenges even before the Kufado government assumed office, it's promised to get the factory working. That promise is yet to be fulfilled and the residents say they've had enough of the excuses. Richard Kujo Nyako sent in this report from Komenda. The end of May was when this Commander Sugar Factory was commissioned by President John Dramani Mahama. It was the same day Little Akosia was also born at the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital. Now, next month, Akosia will be three years. Akosia is growing beautifully. But the Commander Sugar Factory is simply refusing to grow. There are no activities here that would romance the machines in there to produce the sugar. The very purpose for which the Commander Sugar Factory was established. Ever since it was commissioned, the structure is gradually rusting away. Now ever since it was commissioned, days have been swallowed into weeks, weeks have been swallowed into months, and months have been swallowed into years. But here is the factory that stands idle. Isaac Bentumi used to work in the old Commander Sugar Factory. In fact, he learned many skills here, but now he strolls by the Commander Sugar Factory carrying a painful heart. I am here. Open in Akufadu. This is why we do family work in Okodu. What I feel now would you have my baby Sisiano? I am sad at what is happening. I was looking forward to the continuation of the Commander Sugar Factory after a change in government. By now, we should have been seeing vigorous planting of sugar cane to feed the factory. I have worked in the Commander Sugar Factory for the past 17 years. I learned how to drive here. I used to drive Caterpillar and other machines. But now, it pains me that a factory has become a white elephant. <laughs> so this is the Commander town, and as you can see, a lot of people are gathered here, the young and the old are here, they are playing drafts. They tell me that it's because they don't have anything to do. They were hoping that the Commander Sugar Factory would operate so that some of them would get some jobs to do. Sir, sugar Factory, my name is Mr. Oting. If the sugar factory were working, you wouldn't have come here to see us playing drafts. There is no job here apart from fishing. Now the fishing industry is not doing any better. We are pleading with government to make the Commander Sugar Factory work. Our youth here have not turned into thieves and prostitutes. It was our expectations that the government would make the sugar factory work. But nothing has happened to the Commander Sugar Factory. The money that was used to construct the factory is not a paltry amount. It is our own money that is being wasted. We want government to do something about it to get the factory running. We are pleading with government to make the sugar factory work. There is no job here. It has made some of us very vulnerable. This factory was constructed with a cost of $35 million, and the residents say it breaks their hearts to watch the factory waste away. The factory now is rusting away, standing idle with no activity to produce the sugar that has been touted about for years. From the Commander Sugar Factory, my name is Richard Kwejo for Joy News.